you're going to imagine that these are things you already ask yourself anyway. You're asking yourself this when you're, when you're teaching and preparing uh, to teach. So we have uh, 10 steps on how to create the lesson. And then I've given you, and these are just a couple samples of worksheets that might help you actually craft your problem. However, we have Patty's issue. I need to teach X. Is there a problem I can find out there? Now this has been quite a, a task because I've been looking for stuff for you. Uh, and I'm going to put a few more sites up uh, when I get to the Canvas machine. But what I did in this problem-based learning resource uh, section, you'll notice there's something that says sample of mathematics problems, and it is. Now, whether they follow all the guidelines of um, IMSA, I didn't evaluate them for that, all right? And you'll find lots of resources out there. As a matter of fact, there's more resources for project-based learning mathematics than there is for problem-based learning mathematics. I've been on the search for a needle in the haystack for you on problem-based learning. However, if you'll remember something Kathy and Brian said on Monday, which was, if you want to look at a project which ends in a product rather than problem-based learning, which is the process of learning and becoming um, a mathematical thinker, in this case, um, then think about ways to open the project up so it's not so fixed and delineated, all right? But I did find this site, and um, it's the, that first link, and what they've done is uh, obviously, and they're relatively, not too old, around three years old or so, it tells you what it is, you can view it, download it, it tells you which map uh, content it has and when it was posted. I'm just going to open one of these. I, I only looked at a few the other day. Uh, I think they all open up in Word and they all have a format that's helpful uh, to you. So let me um, maybe increase the size of this a little bit. And at this site, this particular template is another template that's available up at this site as well, other than what I just handed to you. But again, this is called the Blacktop Bottle, Battle, excuse me. It's gonna tell you what standards are met, all these big ideas, things, assumptions about students' prior knowledge, that idea of do we know students' misconceptions. Because one of the things about problem-based learning is it has us think about those ahead of time, as well as then using formative assessment techniques to unpack and discover some of the new ones. So when the panel was talking, earlier this morning about things to be on alert for, formative assessment might help reveal those. Uh, again, so you don't end up stumbling into them too often. And then this actually starts, and it, what I liked about these was it tells you what's going to happen, it tells you even a time assessment possibilities, what the students are going to do, all those things. So it helps you think through. And again, teachers are great adapters of materials and all I would say is no don't wholesale necessarily say this is my problem I like this one I mean you can run it and part of your action research may also be talking about what worked or didn't work with your group as well as what did the kids learn about the particular objectives for this problem uh, as well but again don't be afraid like anything else you're using and borrow uh, and adapt to make them fit your students and your teaching style and as you try to your hand at problem-based learning as well. Uh, so then this also talks about what happens at student work time, all right, for this sharing out, and it goes down and down and down all the way to follow up and extension to this. So some problems may extend themselves beyond the immediate. And I believe, I hope it was this side, this talks about solutions. So that's in your planning materials, the solution for the extension. This one I have one. Let me see. I think one of the other ones I looked at also had uh, reflections on what went well or didn't go well. All right. Here was a rubric on collaboration. So if you're wondering how do you, these all come with rubrics, so you can look and see if you like them all or want to get adapt uh, for what you're doing. And let me see if I'm remembering. This is what if someone came in and observed you? So they even have that built in. Okay, this one didn't have the, uh, 
what went well or didn't go well. But anyway, that's a sample, and they're all nicely constructed with lots of information for you. So this also may be very helpful for you to look at some problems before you build your own problem. Okay? And I wouldn't be afraid of being small and not, say, diving in on some things. I mean, some of this problem-based learning could take a whole semester, believe it or not, because it could keep unfolding if you wanted it to. And remember, Kathy and Brian also talked about that you'll do some, I'm going to put the words traditional teaching, traditional teaching in on your, um, in the problem, because it isn't all just student-run kinds of things for problem-based learning. But ways of engaging, what you're trying to do is increase. Remember, the person doing the talking does the learning, and you shouldn't work harder than your students, so they should be provided with lots of opportunities to think, do, and talk to each other, and they need reflection and self-assessment so they can see where they're going and what's happening. Those are some of the, those uh, important cornerstones of formative assessment. Now, I need to know what you we can march through the different activities to flesh out this action research project because there's an activity two and activity three and activity four in the packet that walk us through thinking through the action impact study. We can stop and have you have some work time. Some of you have your laptops, you can go up to the website and uh, click on those links and maybe check those projects on. Oh, okay. Some of you can't log on. Mary, where you have the problem? It won't work. No, it's not working today. It's not working today. Is that what I heard? Well, right. I just, no, I just, just give me a, a log on and I'll be able to log on. Just uh, I'll, we might have to check. I don't know what same log on. I, I have. Same okay, okay, perfect. That's all. Okay. I just need to know where you are, because I told Ellen we can be very flexible and respect your time. I don't want to just talk at you or lead you through the packet with, here's the next section, do some work, let's talk about it. Here's the next section, let's do some work and talk about it. Tell me what you need. No. It's not Oh, I start to get this. Okay, that's fine. Then let's, Ellen, were there, they would like some work time. So what would, is, are, are there some closing things, or do you want to have more time to a certain time and close the morning out of the summer? We will have lunch.